Another quick update today for Changelings. This is the 19th entry in the 90 day vlog marathon, trying to keep it going. So I reached out to the guy who owns the property up in Fraser Park today, left a message, haven't heard back. Still working on that angle. Hopefully that will pan out for a location. We'll see. The other thing I started working on today was uh, fleshing out the story of the tear and how the tear entered our universe. So essentially in the story, the tear exists in a world that is sort of a parallel present. Um, and in what I've been writing, I'm detailing when the tear appeared, at which moment there's a fun coincidence on Earth that harkens the appearance of the tear. A little known experiment known as the first nuclear explosion at Trinity, New Mexico. So that should be a fun little narrative device uh, to exploit, I think, for the world. Something like, did one cause the other kind of thing? Is there, is there a causal link between the two of them? We shall see. Honestly, it was something that I just thought would play nicely as a visual image. It, it evoked to me those things about science fiction that I really like, uh, like messing around with nature and you know, splitting of the atom at the time was extremely controversial. There was a lot of fear of radioactivity. Uh, you can see that in movies like Them, or is it They? No, it's Them, The Ants, uh, Godzilla. There are a lot of movies that deal with radiation and how we're messing with the fundamental forces of the universe and that's gonna come back to haunt us. I don't know if that's the case. It could just be a coincidence at this point, but visually, it's, I think it makes a pretty fantastic combination. And I've been working on the characters for, uh, for Changelings today. I'm trying to figure out the origin, the beginning of the Changelings, and I can only do that if I knew when the tear appeared. So I had the tear appearing in uh, 1945, and it was fun diving into the character that essentially was transformed by the tear when it arrived. Now that I'm getting into the sizzle and having to create a little bit more backstory for changelings uh, in regards to the tear uh, and coming up with these these characters, essentially the two characters that are in the short, I'm having to go back to, I mean, really 19, 1920s and 30s to really get into who the person was, where they're from, what kind of personality do they have, when they became the changeling as a result of the tear appearing. So I'm having to get into all these things a little more deeply. When I wrote the short, I wrote it just as like, uh, wouldn't this be a cool kind of setting? And I'm having to go back through the story and buttress this short post hoc, right? I didn't start from an interesting character. I started from an interesting scenario. And that's a little backwards. I think that really great storytelling has really good characters. And a lot of stories start with a character. Like there's a guy and he is this and he acts this way and this causes these things to occur. And, you know, he's really the one driving, you know, it, it's his character that's really driving the story forward. Other stories that are more plot heavy, I really enjoy too. But, um, and so, so Changelings is really born of a plot and a plot device, a way of creating a new creature. That was where this whole thing came from. So now I'm having to go back post hoc and create all of these nuances to buttress the short so that I can get into the trailer so that I can build more of the world out so that I can eventually write the feature script and then eventually be able to write uh, what might be a TV show or an anthology of movies for the tear. So like I talked about in the last vlog uh, regarding identity and whatnot, you know, that's essentially what I'm doing by building these characters out now. I'm trying to determine their identities and the forces that drive them uh, before and after they are the changeling. So that's what I'm on today. I've been doing some fun Photoshopping to try to create images of the tear back when it was first discovered in the 1940s, uh, way out in space, and what it looks like as it approaches Earth in modern day. So that's a lot of fun. Um, I'll share some of those later, maybe on a Steam post. I haven't built it yet, so uh, don't go looking for them, but soon I will. That's it for today. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Leave them down below. I'll keep you up to date about the Fraser Park thing and the special effects. I sent Zane some cool uh, test videos of people doing DIY uh, tentacles and some other uh, gross stuff so that we can actually build out a really cool kick-ass series of effects for uh, changelings not only for the short but for the sizzle i'll let you know how that goes when uh, i get closer to actually maybe putting something together or if zane is messing around with it and he sends me some video or photos all right have a good night and i will see you tomorrow thanks for watching if you like what i do here hit that subscribe button find me on steam and support me on bitbacker for only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel, where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. All right, see you there.